Hello and welcome to our Let's Play for Parasite Eve um, 1. Um, I'm Rosebud and I'm here with my brother. Well, Jericho. So, you wanted to make a Let's Play of a Christmas theme game and this was your option, which I think it's probably the best option because if you go and look for new game, new games with, you know, the Christmas theme on them, I feel like for the most part they are very shitty because they are in such a rush to, to have a game up for Christmas that for the most part they can be very shitty and maybe if you are in the like the Christmas mood quote unquote uh, you can enjoy them in some weird and twisted way but if you want to enjoy a really good game with a Christmas theme on it but one which you can also play at any moment of the year I feel like Parasite Eve especially the first one is like the ideal option yeah um, you mean Parasite Eve is not a Christmas game it's a, it's a yeah game it's that not that, like a happy during the Christmas game season. a game that can put you into a, the Christmas mood but if you're looking for an excuse to play a game which takes place during Christmas this is probably one of the that there are options. So there is our main protagonist, that blonde girl. She's an officer, I think. Yeah, we're, we work for the police of the NYPD. We work for the NYPD. And you can name her, but I feel like both of us, whenever we play an RPG, especially the JRPGs in which you can name your character, we always stick to the default name. Yeah, it's irrelevant to try to do change the name. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not like, in, for example, Mass Effect, in which you feel like you are that character, even if they address to you like Shepard, because you can have a character that's named like Laura, but they won't talk to you as Hey. Commander Laura, you are Commander Shepard. That's clever, but you know. Uh, we in fact on a date uh, with someone we with seem to that like. guy. Yeah. Which is a rich guy that is pretty pretty much useless, and it's unfortunate that he. I mm -hmm. think. I mean, we don't know if he managed. To manages to, to run away because anyone who's being around the main uh, villain of the game it's immediately burnt to a crisp so who knows so the, the premise is that we go into this theater to watch yeah it's Christmas Eve and we celebrate Christmas Eve by going to the theater in fact seen um, an opera, like an opera manga, but I'm not really sure if it's taken from something. Yeah, me, me real neither. Thing. But let's say that things go goes wrong really, really quickly because what you're about to see is not part of 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 the number. And uh, by the way, I think we should have mentioned that this game can prove to be very disturbing so if you're a person who easily gets shocked by gore, blood or that type of things then you should stop the video right now but maybe if you play Resident Evil yeah maybe, if you're used you to, to play impressed. other games like Resident Evil or Silent Hill of course this is nothing compared to, to those games But still, I feel like Japanese are really good at making disturbing games to such a degree that you, you feel like you'll need therapy after finishing it. So, so she, I mean, the red-haired girl is our main antagonist. 
and of course, like I've said before, the blonde girl is the protagonist of the franchise, which I, I think it's interesting because it's not the archetype of the most of the JRPGs. She's very different, and I, I think that's why uh, this franchise was more or less success successful among those of us who played it when it came uh, in 97 or 98 yeah I mean the way in which the story is told it makes a lot of a difference uh, we are introduced to the story very little by little and uh, I think that it's difficult to understand the story because there is no um, big corporation there is no government behind yeah I will police officer trying to understand what's going on who's that girl what's the connection between both of them why are you all of the sudden having uh, like powers or like the game wants to call it the par par parasite energy and we should also mention that this game takes place in seven days or six days six days six days okay so this is our first battle or very very first battle and this is different compared to other jrpgs because usually even to you know like western rpgs because usually you face like rats moles maybe some bats not like the main villain of, of the game so i think that's interesting so the tactics against this uh, this woman is pretty simple you just wait for her to shoot her right at you of course you have to dodge it and then you shoot at her you you can have up to two shots i think because shot this range. weapon in particular can fire up to sh two shots but then later on you can have other weapons that can shoot shot, shot up to i don't know 12 12 rounds maybe So this this one is pretty simple, especially if, if you're playing the EX mode, which I don't think we're going to keep playing the game after fi after finishing it at once. Well, uh, at this time of battle, we in fact have the parasite energy bar activated. We can heal the need to. Yeah, I think we should explain the the mechanics. So you have the AT bar, which is basically the ATV bar for any old school JRPG so when that's full you can perform any kind of action from using an item using your parasite energy shooting at your enemy and when you perform that action you have to wait for the AT bar to be full again and you also have to take in consideration your parasite energy bar which is the green one so each time you use your parasite energy or your like special abilities they consume a percentage of that bar but luckily the uh, parasite energy bar replenishes automatically uh, over time i mean when you are in, in battle i think you have to go to the left first uh, it's the same in fact <laughs> okay yeah that's confusing you need to look down and triangle is for opening your inventory in which you can use your items uh, you can change your weapons your armors i don't remember what else and some options like for the sound the cursor the window position that's where you can use so that's the parasite energy window in, in which you can check whatever uh, skills you have or you can use them in case you are for example poison or you can or, or you want to recover your health well this is a general inventory in fact, yeah that's the have, uh, this club which in fact it has a, a very low uh, attack uh, but it's yeah it's a lesser it's weapon but steal. it's uh, it's your last resort in case that. you run uh, you, you run out of ammo which I think it's almost impossible unless you go for the 
for the Chrysler building. So now we have to go back to where we came from, which is like of this opera theater. We can talk to some NPCs. One of them will heal us, but we we didn't take any damage. We can talk to I think a police officer and we can replenish our ammo, which I think it's a wise thing to do because although it's almost impossible to run out of ammo you never know when you will need more ammo just in case and one thing to keep in mind is that except for the rocket launcher and the special weapon that you get you get at the end of the game every other weapon shares the same type of ammo so that way you don't have to worry about making more space for other type of ammo, which I think it's neat. I mean, when it comes to a survival horror game, I don't mind having to worry about different type of ammo, but for, for RPGs such as this, I, I think it's good to have just one type of ammo. I think you, you can get up to 60 bullets. Yeah, 60. And you remember you can go to your inventory and reload your, your weapon yes, again, instead of to waiting to go into battle. To do with money. Yeah, this is a very old game, so get used to the idea of having to go to the inventory each time you want to reload your weapon outside combat. Do you remember if, if he, she changes her dress? through all of the days or if he... No, she only uses his dress uh, and uh, the uniform that he wears to wear. And that's it. <laughs> so yeah, they're like two, two outfits. That's interesting. I don't remember if in the sequel whenever you change your... I think it was... jackets or armor, you could see the difference In the sequel, you only have uh, two outfits also. You have uh, the, the second, which is uh, more like the, the outfit for the girl in Resident Evil game, as <laughs> you know, the shirt. Nice. The shirt and the blouse, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, the serious girl. Yeah, since this is supposed to be like a survival horror ish game, there are some very cryptic stuff that of course later on it's going to make sense but for now it's all very weird it's almost like a psychological kind of like survival horror I mean the game is not a survival horror per, per se by any means it has some of the DNA of a old, old school survival horror I think this is probably one of the most disturbing things you're going to see in this game. Not the most, but one of the most. And I, I wish there were more CGI for the other creatures because it, because it seems that every animal that comes into contact with Eve mutates. This is probably the most recurring type of enemy. Fortunately, if you keep your distance from it, you are more or less safe. So the idea is always wait for the enemies to attack you and of course dodge it and then you attack them. Otherwise, you are, you are open to their attacks. But some of them can be very, very unpredictable. Like for example, the, the parrot. So I think right now we cannot open any of the doors except for the one on the upper left. We can enter, okay, uh, so I was wrong, it seems. Um, I, I think there's two doors you need to open. One is the third one, starting from the left, and the other is the fifth one. And that'll trigger this conversation. I don't know if you can open the others. I can, but there's nothing there. Okay. So I feel like one awkward thing 
and I feel like this is very common with uh, all JRPGs that uh, use pre-rendered backgrounds with 3D characters that sometimes you need to interact with some objects that are in, in such an angle that it, it to interact with them I don't know if I'm explaining myself Sometimes with the ropes, it's difficult to open them. Yeah, because you are supposed angle. to approach them from a certain angle, and if you don't know what what that angle is, that can be awkward. Okay. Nice to see ya, buddy. No bullets. Okay. For some reason, rats and look have bullets that <laughs> doesn't make any sense i mean i know this is a game and it isn't supposed to be realistic y you know I, I was watching a let's play the other way and it seems that each each room has sort of like a percentage uh, when it comes to the uh, encounter rate so first time you enter a room it's supposed to have like a hundred percent uh, chance of like encounter an enemy and the second time you enter it's like uh, 40 percent and then after that it's like 10 percent i think well, that, that's a big difference with uh, well, survival horror which you can actually see the enemy that is attacking you is like a more yeah they are always at cheap. your at your side so you have you you, have, you don't have to worry about the random encounters so, although i don't feel like parasite eve uh, have uh, really random encounters not even the second one which was more like a proper survival horror game so now we got the theater key so we can save our progress we save our progress, we actually call our office. Yeah, it's 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 also a, a way to to more or less uh, resume what happened to, to this point. So Anything more to check? Okay. Um, um, we have to tell you that something very annoying is that you share the same inventory for the medicines, the weapons, and also for the keys. And uh, this so, is not a very generous game. Yeah, the idea is space. get rid of the low-level medicine as soon as you can, because you 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 have the heal ability from from the get-go, so it's like they are. If you play well, which I think it's really easy, it's hard to like be in, in a desperate need for, for medicine because like I've said you have your parasite energy and it can heal you. So yeah, just if you need space on your inventory, just just get rid of the medicine, okay? So I think this is going to be the end of this first episode. So hope you enjoyed it and please remember to, to subscribe. See you.